Now, what's going on, everybody? Antonio here. Do me a favor and hit that thumbs up and let's get into it. Now, are the streets of myth or the streets of myth? We are on DJ Academics Instagram page and he has posted this picture of Gunna and Offset. They have linked up in Dubai. So uh, Gunna was over there and, and Offset flew over there and uh, linked up with him. Now, this is pretty serious. This is going to be a viral photo. Now, why is this going to be a viral photo? Uh, you know, if you've been following the Young Thug YSL case, you know that Young Thug, he, they got the whole YSL a Rico. Gunna was involved in that. And then his lawyer got to talking. They copped a plea deal. He, you know, the infamous yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am video when he was in it, you know, and obviously Gunna, he, he, uh, he came out. He said YSL is a, a gang, a criminal organization that he wasn't involved in that. Even though he was signed to YSL as a recording artist, he wasn't no part of that. He got to walk out free and had some chick with a BBL waiting on him when he got out. And he, he been, uh, you know, he been out doing his thing. He got, you know, hit record, you know, his, his album, uh, with, uh, what's it, uh, fuck you mean? That was a, that was a first time he had a top 10 hit without a feature. Um, all the Atlanta artists, they backed up off of him, right? Everybody future 21 Savage, uh, uh, Dirk, he from Chicago, but he called him a rat and a snitch. Everybody's like, oh, you snitch. You, you know, you should never, you know, free Jeffrey, the whole thing. Uh, you know, Drake had rock with Gunner. They had done songs before, but he's cool with Thug. So obviously he backed up off of that. Uh, Young Thug put his record out on the same day that Gunner dropped and the record didn't do that much. And Gunner obviously has a, you know, his records are selling. You see photos and, and video of his concerts and there are thousands of people there and he still got hits. But all the Atlanta artists are like, man, you ain't got no motion. I heard some of the Atlanta people going, yeah, they might be playing you in other cities. But even though you from Atlanta, we ain't rocking with you. And the radio DJs ain't playing your music no more and blah, 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 blah. But that ain't happening because Gunner has still got motion, even though he is, quote, unquote, labeled a snitch. Uh, Offset, obviously, uh, formerly of the Migos, uh, he is going through his own thing right now. Uh, now that Cardi B has announced that she and offset are not together anymore. She said she is single. How did that happen? Um, uh, there were rumors that she got to get back on him. You know, offset has been caught cheating on Cardi B multiple times. She's acknowledged that she always forgave him. They, they've got two kids together, uh, culture. And I can't remember the son that she just had, earlier this year. So they've got, you know, they've been together, what, over seven years and, you know, been married and the whole deal. But she said she was on Instagram live the other day talking about, yeah, I'm single. They just did not make an announcement that they were splitting up. Some people think they're going to get back together and whatnot. But one thing she did say was that Offset has been feeling himself since his new album came out and people was rocking with it because the album has gotten really good reviews. Uh, you saw you saw Offset out uh, in Atlanta. He was there over at Kai Sinat's house and there were hundreds of thousands. There was there were hundreds of thousands of people watching those streams and you know they dance and they're doing the whole thing. He's his. Uh, some people were like, it might not be smart to move off of Cardi B because when they first got together. Offset was offset from the Migos. Cardi B was an up and coming rapper, but she blew up. She had a bunch of his Bodak, Bodak yelling and she had WAP and, and you know, she did, well, I can't remember that one joint she had with 21 Savage. She's had several hits and offset the, you know, like I said, Migos broke up and different thing, obviously rest in peace to take off, you know, take off. Uh, you know, he, uh, unfortunately got took out here, uh, was been over a year now. Uh, but, um, and, Quavo don't rock with Offset the same way, even though they did link up to do that uh, takeoff reunion. I think it was at the Grammys or the American Music Awards. They they you know hit the stage together, but they had been beefing and and uh, you know a lot of people were like that might not be smart because you really don't have the hits in the catalog as a solo artist. Obviously, the Migos have hits, but 
but Offset does not have the track record. Quavo's got a bunch of features. He's on a lot of hit songs outside of the Migos, and that was very smart of him. But Offset don't have that same track record. So you listen to his new record, and it does. It's not street music. It's more like you know. It's more poppy. It's more. He's trying different things. You see the way he's dressing. He's got the Michael Jackson glove on and stuff. It looks like he's trying to do a more mainstream as opposed to a street type record, right? So he's um he's doing his thing and Cardi B's last few singles have flopped. So now she's like cooling off and she, you know, she obviously had the baby and so a lot of people are like, "Hmm, maybe he's seeing that this is his time to move away from that because he was getting annoyed hearing that oh, well nobody cares about you now you're Mr. Cardi B or whatever. Um, like I said, the streets in Atlanta, they say Gunner's a rat. They don't mess with him. But now I've obviously offset who is, he is a known gang member. He was claiming, you know, he claiming the set. I think was, he's a gangster disciple or one of these gangs. I know King yellow said he was, King yellow said he was a gang, gang member, different people. Um, but if you're a gang member, you can't be associating with snitches, but Gunner's hot. Gunner's got hit records. And even though now uh, Gunner's best collaborative partner is obviously Little Baby, and Little Baby is this this Gunner. He won't mess with him. You don't like I said all these other people like Future Twenty One Savage. They all pulled back from him, even though they had done songs with him before. Uh, the fact that Offset, you see this photo here. He you know he knows he's being filmed, and he's got Gunner. Uh, uh, pouring him some whatever they drinking. They pouring something in his cup. They look like they having a good time. He's kicking it with him. They, this is this is either going to work out very well for Offset because Offset, I thought, was the best lyricist of the three Migos. Um, Quavo had that production. He knows how to put the beats and all this stuff. And obviously people would... I thought Takeoff was an underrated rapper, but Offset was the, of the three Migos... Offset is clearly the best lyricist. Uh, his song with Metro Boomin, uh, Ric Flair Drip, that's a great song. I love that joint. So he can, I thought he had the best pen game. And you notice, like people, I mentioned Lil Baby earlier. Lil, Lil Baby's last few singles ain't been hot. And a lot of people was like, man, maybe you need to do the same thing. What what uh, Offset's doing in this picture, maybe you need to be piecing it up and let let Gunna get in that studio with you and get you some more hits because that last album Lil Baby put out wasn't very good. And then these last few singles, which I know this, uh, he dropped that single about a week or two ago and he called, you know, he said somebody was a rat or you still a rat on that track. And people was like, yeah, this song's mediocre. It's not very good. So maybe, hey, Lil Baby, if you seeing this, you see Offset, Offset's like, hey, Gunna, Gunna can write. Gunna's got hits. And, you know, even though people call him a snitch, he's still on the billboard. And he's making money and doing shows and all that legal stuff is behind him. Maybe this is the right place. So, I don't know. This is either going to work out for Offset or it's not. But you can't take it back now. They took this photo on purpose and released it. So, this is an intentional move. So, I don't know. Like I said, I ain't no street guy. But this is going to either work out very well for Offset. Or it's going to destroy his career. What do you guys think in the comments? Let me know. Obviously, check out AkariPress.com or get the link in the description if you want to get my book, uh, Brand Way of the Gun. We still got the uh, pre-orders up on that on Indiegogo. Thank you, guys. I'm out.